like a late smoke at the end that kind of comes over like a fog arriving in a bay. Well, greetings. Welcome to the Weed Round. And tonight, the Port Askeg, which is a 110 proof or 55% alcohol by volume uh, Isla whiskey. So what's interesting is that Port Askeg is not a distillery. It is a bottling of different Isla whiskeys. So this is one of those ones where you really are not too sure what you're getting into. And also the strength of this whiskey at 55% is something that makes you wonder what it will taste like and how powerful it'll be. And one way or the other, I have very little to go on other than the fact that I'm excited, it's interesting, and uh, looking forward to see what, what comes forth. So very plain box, not much going on, not much information on this one, just is what it is. And it's very clear that this is a strong, whiskey at 55% alcohol by volume and that 110 proof, bam. So as it comes out of the box, it's very dark, the glass. You can tell nothing of what's inside uh, in terms of color or anything else. And it is very similar to the box. The warmth and character of Isla. So they're trying to capture something of what Isla is without being from one particular whiskey. That's about it. Kind of plain Jane. Not, doesn't blow you away. It's not, you know, super impressive. Uh, typical crown here. We'll pull this away. Well, let's take the uh, cork off. So a little gentle, smoky and inviting. So that's a good sign. Ooh, ooh, very pale. Wow. Hardly any color at all. Really interesting to look at that. So to the nose. Right away you get sort of a wet wood. A little tiny bit musky and a bit of decay, but in a rich forest way. But very earthy and very sea-like, very shore-like in its approach. The forest meets the ocean in some ways. Let's bring it to the lips. Salon Shaba. It almost burns the tip of the tongue with strength, but all around that, it's not that intense. The intensity almost locks into one position as you drink the whiskey down. The finish, it's almost lost. Like everything gets driven to one point on the forward position of the tongue in an intense, like almost burning nature, but it's like a lot is occurring and you almost lose track of it. The strength is there, but it's not undrinkable at 55%. It's very dynamic, but not a ton of flavor. It's a different type of experience when you sip it. It's, uh, it's strong and subtle happening si simultaneously. This is one of those whiskeys that is difficult to classify. It's not, it's doing something very different. And it makes you wonder what is actually put into this bottle. So it's not a specific distillery. It's a blend of Isla whiskeys that makes this come together in this particularly powerful format. You don't know the age statements of the whiskeys and you don't know which distilleries, but what you see is young looking and vibrant and powerful and maybe a little underdeveloped. Doesn't rival the Lagavulin or the Lafroig in terms of the way it comes across in the smoke, but yet its smoke is prevalent and interesting. I thought for sure I'd want to add water to this, but the reality is you can drink this fairly easily at 55% straight. I wouldn't say it's widely available. It's, it's not cheap. Probably all in you're looking at about 120, $125 Canadian. It doesn't really fit 
in the single malt age statement whiskeys or even the NASs, this is a really this is our first blend i suppose do you want this on your bar at all times or is this just a very unique and interesting experience to have from time to time and that you could pass on by and never go back to i can feel some of the characteristics of maybe the Kalila mixing with some of the Southern Isla strengths to come up with something that's very different. It kind of has a feeling of deep, dark time, like it is evolved in, in, in some way, which is ironic because of course this is probably a very young whiskey, but who knows, who knows? We drown. Thanks for joining us. different though. Yeah, you're getting me excited. Well, it's just different. It's just different. Well, different is good. Different is good.